All right, I gotta do a <clears throat> very slight New York apology, all right? Very slight New York apology. I just went for a walk right now. And you know what? I mean, take a look at where I am again. I'm in a crowded space, right? Yeah, take a good look. This is most of the square footage of this apartment. But I just went for a really nice walk. And you know what I gotta say? <clears throat> I, I owe New York a little apology. Look, I've, is that anthropomorphizing New York? No, yeah, right? Giving a non-living, breathing thing qualities of a living, breathing thing. Let me just say this. I think I was in a bad mood the other day. You already know that. What's this angle? What am I trying to do? I was in a bad mood the other day. Really bad mood. When you're in a bad mood here, it's a bad place to be. That's just very true. Whatever environmental, social, or mental uh, yeah, what's that word I want? Complication? No, that's not the word. Problem, what's the, it's a fancy word for problem because problem is not a very good word for what I want to say. Um, issue, I want to say. What does it mean when you have a, a very slight problem? What's that word? An obstacle? All right, maybe an obstacle. Whatever environmental, social, or mental obstacle, that is the word I want, in fact, you're facing. It's easier to face that obstacle when you're in a very nice uh, place to live in the middle of the desert by yourself. Hashtag my reality. It's more difficult to face here, but you know what it was too? I got This is gonna be a short video, it's a quick apology. It was fucking hot. When I got here, it was so fucking hot and it was so humid. It's still humid, it's just not hot anymore. And you know what? When it gets hot and humid in New York City, it's fucking miserable. And there's a sea of air conditioners stressing you out. Everything's wet. The towel that you're gonna dry yourself off with when you're done taking a shower is already saturated with water. And then when you try to go to sleep at night, if you're, you yourself are not using an air conditioner, you're gonna have your windows open, you're gonna hear an, a sea of air conditioners that's gonna basically be um, polluting your brain and your stress, giving you stress. So tonight, I was, I was like, I need to go for a walk because I've been staring at a computer for so long, working on stuff. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's really nice tonight. And I really enjoyed it. I walked, for those of you who know the area, by the Jefferson stop. Um, of uh, Bushwick L train. Basically walked down, uh, what is that next to Willoughby? I don't know, Saddam Street or something. I walked through Maria Hernandez Park and then I walked just along Knickerbocker for a long time. And you know what? There was no air conditioners and it wasn't hot. It felt cool. In fact, cooler than it feels in here. And it was, I gotta say, a very nice sensory experience compared to what I'm used to in Utah. Although that is also a nice sensory experience. It's extremely dry and very scenic where I live, but this is just like neon lights and like, you know, culture and life, real life happening all around you. And it was nice. And I, I was like, oh yeah, I forgot. When it gets cool, New York is actually incredible. And I, I mean cool temperature wise. It's like a really nice place to be, especially fall. Everybody is gonna agree with you. Fall in New York is the best. Autumn in New York, I mean, come on. I didn't make the song for nothing. So, and I was, as I was walking, I was thinking, I was a little unfair on New York the other day. And again, I do really hate anthropomorphizing it. Although I think I could blame LCD Sound System for doing it first. New York, I love you, but you're bringing me down. Um, yeah, wow, miserable though. How much, what a, what a difference it made just for it to be cool outside, for there not to be a sea of air conditioners. So. I owe it a slight apology for saying all that shit I said about New York, even though I was having a really bad time. That was all very real. And I was complaining it's dirty. I've been wearing this shirt for four days. You know how it smells right now? So there it is, my apology for what was probably a bit of a hot take on um, living in New York. It was actually probably just fine. Although, you better be ready to deal with that stress. And now let's have a little pluma moment, shall we? Miss Pluma. Mr. Ming Ming. Who's this?
Ming Ming. Oh, 